Today we will discuss what is IVF, what is the process involved in the IVF technique and how many days or the duration of the treatment of IVF process, how much time it takes. So a couple coming for IVF to any fertility expert, to any hospital, usually all the investigations are done beforehand and once the patient is planned for IVF, normally we give a one month hormonal treatment to the female so that her hormone balance is corrected and then subsequently in the second from the second day of the cycle she is advised to report to the hospital and from day 2 onwards we do an ultrasound scan and then if everything is normal the eggs are the follicles are of a smaller size and equal size equal cohort then we start with the injections to stimulate the ovaries in a normal conception, uh, usually one oocyte is formed, one follicle is formed during a menstrual cycle for a natural pregnancy. But in IVF, the purpose of giving the hormonal injections uh, to the female is to for the multifollicular development so that we have more number of eggs so that the number of embryos formed out of those, the best embryos can be selected and transferred in the patient. So usually from the day two onwards, we start giving the hormonal injections. And every day the patient has to take the shot of the injection approximately at the same time. After two to three days, the transvaginal ultrasound scan is done and we monitor the size of the follicles, how the growth is happening, what is the uh, endometrium thickness. So every alternate day then later on we start doing a transvaginal scan and we monitor the growth of the follicles. After a span of normally 10 to 12 days, usually it is seen if the follicular growth rate is normal. After 10 to 12 days, we achieve a um, follicle size around 18 to 20 mm. At that time, we give a injection, uh, trigger injection. Usually it is given in the night because after the injection, 36 hours later, we have to do the egg retrieval of the patient under anesthesia. So if the injection is given in the night and after 36 hours, the patient is admitted in the hospital for a daycare procedure only and under a short general anesthesia, the, with the help of an ovum retrieval needle, we take out all the eggs. There is no operative procedure involved, there are no stitches, no nothing of that sort. It's a simple procedure and the patient can go back home after 3 to 4 hours. So once the egg retrieval is done, we keep the eggs in the incubator and before that, uh, before the egg retrieval, we take the sample of the husband semen analysis and uh, we do take the sample of the husband semen sample and we process the semen and uh, we uh, usually the semen is processed in a way that we take the uh, normal actively motile sperms out of the semen and then we keep it with the oocytes in the incubator in a normal IVF conventional process. And uh, then subsequently next day we check for a 2 pronuclear stage and then on the 48 hours or 72 hours uh, we monitor the growth of the embryo. If uh, the procedure uh, ICSI has to be done at that time after the egg retrieval we take the sperms of the husband and we inject the sperm with the help of an ICSI needle inside the oocyte to form the or for the fertilization of the embryo and then the subsequent uh, monitoring of the embryo is the same as in conventional IVF. So later on at the day 3 or preferably at a blastocyst stage that is 160 to 120 hours after the ovum pickup, we transfer the blastocyst inside the uterus of the uh, female. So this is the whole IVF process. Then after the embryo transfer is complete, then 10, 14 days later, we do a blood sample. We do a beta HCG on the female and then we can confirm the pregnancy uh, by the help of this simple test that is the beta HCG on the blood. And once the patient conceives, then she is given on support of the hormones uh, and some injectables also. And as a normal pregnancy goes, we monitor it uh, the same way like every 15 days or every one month subsequently for the 9 months.